Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from vitalcoaching.com. We are talking about galactic travel, or a word that I use and that I really like, it's galactivation. So imagine that we as a human race, we started flying machines about 100 years ago, right? And within 50 years, we were able to take one of these machines and land it on the moon. So imagine where we will be maybe a hundred years from now. We are evolving really, really fast. But there comes a, a point or there comes a moment where we start exploring beyond the limits of the solar system where it's going to take a long time to reach the nearest star. So we need to start looking into technologies or ways of evolving as human race that don't necessarily evolve physical, involve physical technology, that we travel in the form of consciousness. We transfer our beings or our energy bodies in an instant from one place to another. And uh, is that possible? Yes, I believe that there are beings out there on this universe that can instantly transfer their consciousness from one star to another from one place in the universe or the galaxy to another. So galactic travel, when we talk about galactic travel and uh, warp speed and stuff like that, you know, the concept is that we are going faster than the speed of light. And that somehow we are able to activate an ability in a consciousness that is going to allow us to transfer our consciousness from one point to another in no time. So how do we do that? I have no idea. <laughs> you know, right now we don't have the techniques and we don't have yet the abilities because the tools to do that and the, uh, the uh, energetic and consciousness technology to do that have not yet been downloaded into humankind. Downloaded by who? Well, by the angelic forces and the intelligence that are sponsoring and, and supervising the evolution of the planet and humankind. I believe that what we are going through right now is not a coincidence. What we are exploring, the things that we are discovering, are highly inspired and transmitted and downloaded into human consciousness by forces and powers that are much greater than ourselves. Imagine that right now our, our evolution, the evolution of our human race, is uh, sponsored by another set of uh, powerful human-like beings or angelic beings who have been watching over the evolution of the planet and humankind for thousands or millions of years, have been planting seeds of life on planet Earth. And that right now they are watching and they say, okay, are you ready for the next power? And then when we are ready, they download and transfer another idea. And uh, that idea grows in the mind of a scientist and then or some spiritual person or some business person and then suddenly it starts evolving and then suddenly we have, wow, the internet was born. You know, think about it, like 20 years ago, there was no internet. And suddenly now it permeates, it's, it's like it radically shifted the way we behave as a human race. So where did that technology come from? Why was it synchronized at that specific moment to start using it and to receive it? And with the download of the internet, we have to learn how to master it as well. We need to develop new behaviors, new attitudes that match that. So when we start thinking about galactic travel and galactivation, the activation of our galactic body, we are talking about similar steps that take us forward. So the thing that we can do is, you know, just pray in the direction of these forces, ask for help, ask for guidance, and allow us to start evolving in that direction. There is so much more to say about that, but I'll, you know, keep it for short for now. I'll be back soon with more ideas on that one. I'll see you soon.